Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. On this day, December 4, 1965, the Dallas Morning News carried the headline, Agreements and Boycott by Negroes in Natchez. The three-month boycott of downtown Natchez stores was considered one of the most effective ever imposed by the civil rights forces in the South. Charles Evers, field director for the NAACP, said the agreements with merchants and city governments were some of the greatest concessions granted to any civil rights organization. For months, local African Americans had participated in the boycott with the goal of forcing the city administration to accept their demands, which included hiring six African American police officers, ordering city employees treat all citizens courteously, hiring future city employees without regard to race, and implementing a plan to begin desegregation of the city schools the following September. Twenty-two stores in the downtown area agreed to create new job opportunities for African Americans such as clerks and cashiers. Previously, African Americans had been employed for many jobs. At the announcement of the agreement in Mayor Nusser's office ever stated, we have worked to make it better for all of us. I am Kevin Gaines, 10th grade student at Natchez Early College Academy, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.